tells us what exactly goes on here. So right from receiving product, so the product could be wood or furniture. Yes. Yeah, so once we receive it, we take it to the climate control room. So it could be a chair or a table. And then we perform these various tests. And then from there, we do the results analysis and then we prepare the reports. If it's wood, we also take it to the sample preparation room to prepare the samples. We control them in a climate control unit and then we use the inversor testing machine to do the test and then we report the results. So as you can see from here, the lab is accredited under ISO 17025. Um, this is the furniture testing center. So once we receive the product, we take it to the conditioning room. This is where we put the furniture to condition it to a particular temperature before we take it okay, to okay. perform the series of tests that we are going to do. So from here, we take it to the marking room take it to the marking room to do the markings. This is a flat surface where we put the furniture to mark the various points we'll be exerting forces and other things too. Yeah. So then we, we start the test from here. This is the stability test break. It is used to perform the stability test to know if the chair is stable. Yeah, so this is where we perform the test for the stability and we have um, the alternating bending test brick. Some of the chairs have arms, others do not. So this is where we do the testing of the arms and we bring it here to do the um, drop test. This part tells us how we sit on the chair. You know sometimes when you are sitting on the chair you just go just like that, you put your weight on it so we drop the force onto the chair a particular number of times then we check after that we just remove the chair to check for cracks and other things to see if it has passed the test or not then we bring it to the double test rig where we also do 
what this machine can do, this can also do. This one tests the arm and then the back. So it does it alternatively. It presses and then it, it pushes back. Just as we sit on the chair, once you sit, you relax. So it performs the test, a particular number of cycles, and then we remove it to also check. And then mind you, if a, if a chair fails a particular test, let's say it fails stability, automatically it has failed. If it fails drop test, it has failed. Yeah. So this is a big um, machine here. It's also the displacement test rig. This is used to test bigger furniture, be it bed, wardrobes, and other things. This is where. So we can do various tests. The series of tests we do here, we can equally do them here, but this is bigger. You can see a chair here. Yeah, so that is that is that is just it for the furniture testing aspect. So once we are done, we check for cracks, we check for defects, and then we, we, we determine whether it has passed or it has failed. So this is it for the furniture testing. We can pause it. When it is used to condition samples to attain a particular um, temperature or, or moisture content before it goes through the um, series of tests that it's going to perform. So you can see here we have different types of wood samples that we have, different shapes to perform different tests. Yes. So this is this is this is the wood and then as you can see here this one it failed it got broken at the second stage it just got broken so this is what we're talking about most often than not we buy these furniture products and then we use it in a couple of weeks or months it just get broken so when you bring your product here to test you would know the quality of your products you'd know whether we, we buy these things every day and we just go through it and you buy and then in a matter of weeks or months you need to replace it but if you are buying from a source an accredited source a source that has brought its furniture here for testing you would and this is the only furniture testing center in Ghana and then it is accredited under international standards so when, once you test your product here you can export it anywhere because we give you a sticker that shows that this product is indeed tested from accredited source. Yeah, so WFTC, Forestry Research Institute of Ghana Wood and Furniture Testing Center, I would recommend for the wood and furniture companies in Ghana and everywhere in West Africa, the whole world, students, lecturers, um, various institutions should come and get their products tested. They should just give it a try. You should come and see the facility, come and then perform your various tests, and then trust me, you will not regret it. This gentleman here is taking dimensions to perform the shrinkage and then the. Swelling. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's taking the markings, he's taking the markings and All these samples you can see here, they are samples from clients. Um, today, yeah, so we cut the samples for them and then we've taken them through various pages. Uh, okay, so this is the wood hmm. testing lab. Yeah, the wood testing lab, this is what we use. This is the UTM, the universal testing machine. It's used to perform various um, tests. Yeah, so um, you come here. We have our cabinet chamber mm. and then we have our oven. Right. Yeah, we have the climate chamber and then the oven. Mm. We use it for the oven. You are welcome to Foreign Energy. Here is a place that we raise tree species or tree seedlings for sale, as well as selling of tree seeds. For now, over the years, what we do is raising tree species for individual plantation developers, NGOs, and then governmental organizations. Some species that we raise are Terminaria superba, that's Oframo, Terminaria evorensis, Embry, 
we have mahogany, that's a kaya, antotica, kaya senegalensis, and the last. We also produce tetrapura, tetraptera, prekese. As you can see, we use some for a lot of products, including the prekese syrup and the last. We have bamboo as well. We have raised bamboo seedlings for an organization called Eco Planet. We have two different types. We have the bamboo sa testeris and then dendrocalamus asper. Eco Planet have secured a vast land at Agubu that they are doing plantation. So this year they contracted us to raise one million tree uh, bamboo seedlings for them. So here are the testalis and we have the asper as well. Hmm. So we have raised some at our end at Mesu due to our, the, our land issue. Yes. So basically this is the activity that goes on here at CSI Forest Nursery. We do sell three seeds as well as I indicated. We have Ofram seeds, we have mahogany seeds, we have precursor seeds, we have uh, a lot of tree species, you can name them. We produce them all also for sale. Your name? My name is Simon Asumedu, the supervisor in charge at the nursery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, this is a uh, sweet sister, beautiful lady, <laughs> Diana. Why you can't do this? So, Madam Diana, what do you do here as an administrator in the Forestry Institute? Research Institute it's of Ghana. Time. I'm having my snack. Uh, so, you talk to us. It doesn't matter. We just want to have a fun video of CSI <laughs> Forestry Research. So, this is our beautiful administrator, Madam Why Diana. Why do this? Uh -huh. So, tell us something before we leave. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I'm Diana, uh -huh. um, senior admin assistant. Okay. 
work stuff for a key. Yes. Basically, work on staff files. Okay. Um, recruitment. Yeah. And then when meetings are going on, I handle them. Yeah. Then it's writing and stuff. Okay. What is this position? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 